Welcome to our channel and Merry Christmas to those who celebrate the Xmas Day and a prosperous New Year to all of our supporters in a very special way. I want to salute you because you've made this channel be where it is. May God bless you. If you're watching for the first time, please take a second or two and click the subscribe button. Then turn on the notification bell so that YouTube can notify you whenever we do a video like this. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and share our videos. Ladies and gentlemen, a while ago I analyzed the bad news that William Ruto carried and delivered to the hustlers who voted for him. And uh, that video all really showcased the kind of... Uh, tax appetite how William Ruto wants to up to 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 tax Kenyans in 2024 because the budgetary allocation for the first time is projected to go beyond 4 trillion for the first time in the history of Kenya so if we thought we had had it all in the year 2023 then the year 2024 is going to be more difficult. And as I said earlier, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm using statistics and evidence. But then, the hustlers have also decided to revenge because those who took the hustlers' fund have either, because of the difficult situations, or intentionally just decided not to repay when well, William Ruto had requested that when you take that money, you, you, you return it so that it can, also, it can help others, people are not repaying the hustlers fund. And, and, and the reports that are there is that Kenyans default on 9.9 .9 billion hustlers fund loans. You can imagine that. Billion point it is that is almost 10 billion we are talking about here and just before I go and explain about the 9.9 .9 billion default I want you to see how the default rate is increasing because just three months ago it was indicated that hustler fund defaults hit 3 billion in nine months so, ladies and gentlemen, in nine months, the defaulters were, the, the default rate was at 3 billion. Now, in 11 months, that is an, an, an addition of just three months, it has shot from 3 billion to 10 billion, because 9.9 is close to that. Business Daily records that the value of Hustler's fund loan default stood at nearly 10 billion Kenya shillings in the first 11 months since the launch of the micro, small and medium enterprises focused credit facility in November last year. New disclosures from the National Treasury put the overall repayment rate of loans disbursed via the funds at 73% revealing a significant impairment. And quoting verbatim the report from the Treasury, it says, by the end of October 2023, the fund had, uh, the fund had disbursed 36.6 billion and uh, realized 2.3 billion in savings, benefiting 21.3 million customers with 7.5 million repeat customers whose overall repayment rate is at 73%. So that is an overall overview of what is happening. But my point, ladies and gentlemen, something that I wanted to dis I want us to discuss is one, the projection from nine months ago is not commensurate to what is the reality of the situation and when you see people defaulting to pay hustlers fund 
it means there is a problem with the hustlers. William Ruto recently, you know, contradicted the report from the Treasury CS who had said that Kenya is about to reach, to cross the, head, the, the red line financially so much that even paying, you know, the, 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 the civil servants would be difficult. But William Ruto giving uh, an address on Jamhuri Day disagreed with the with, with, with the treasury CS and said that Kenya is on the right track there is no alarm that is what he told us and I've always said that it does not need any rocket science to understand that financially and economically Kenya is not on the right track we don't need the, the, the economic jargons to explain this if you see Kenya's defaulting, it tells you that there is something wrong. Some of the hustlers who took this loan actually took it to begin some businesses. The problem was that their limit, some of them were getting as low as 500 shillings. And I know that any amount can be used to as a startup to a business. But if you want to open a significant business, 500 shillings might not be enough and I know people will tell me that you can start even with 200 as you improve but that also depends on the economic situation and the prevailing circumstances whether the environment that has been created is really peaceful and can support businesses I'm saying this because we have seen investors you know fleeing our country and they are going to other countries because the cost of production is just too high courtesy of uh, the finance bill 2023 so even if someone took this money and they wanted to maybe some people started some businesses the businesses did not thrive because the condition for businesses as we speak is, is the condition is not very motivating so they are unable to pay they took the loan they began some businesses the businesses collapsed and so they are unable to pay some of them were being given so little or too little that they could not begin anything significant this is why some people just can't they can't afford it's not because they don't want they, they don't want they don't want to pay they are will, really willing but i call other people intentionally took this money for domestic use come on enda kulala nja hebu nikulize alafu angalie limit yako upate ah uko na some 1000 limit that you can be given then you try and you are given 1000 Kenya shillings and you head to a supermarket tell me what will you buy maybe some basic commodities like unga some some soap sugar just the basic things that we use every day so some people took the money you know put it to domestic use and you see Economically speaking, once you borrow and consume this money without opening any business, repaying it is not very easy. And if you see someone borrowing money that is meant for business and is putting it to, to, to domestic use, it means this guy does not have money. They don't have a job. So there are people who didn't have jobs. They took this money. They bought some basic commodities, food, and the money is gone now, but they don't have any other avenue any other source to pay this money and this is why the default rate is high to a level of almost 10 billion Kenyan shillings then there is the attitude reason I have heard people say that this money that we are given as hustlers fund is our money some people try to associate it with the money that were being given during the campaigns when Ruto used to meet the mama wa mboga mboga na wapatia milioni moja akutane na watu boda boda milioni moja imeenda the hustlers milioni moja imeenda so some people say that this is our money it's it's, it's the money that that you know they feel it's their right they feel entitled and so i, I had some people say that mimi nachukua na sita lipa there is that attitude kind of behavior and they're saying we are not going to pay i've also had some people argue that we voted for Azimio 
and Ruto took our votes. Why should I repay? This is how I, 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 that this is how William Ruto should compensate them. So they are saying that politically speaking, with the, the, the Ruto should buy them because Ruto took their votes. And so they're just saying that we are not going to pay. There, there's that attitude and the, the, the politics in it. You see, when you see someone saying that, Sisi tulibiwa kura kwa even tachukua ipesa na mimi sita rudisha, sita lipa. It's also, it, it happens. You talk to your friends and they will tell you. Others simply went to try. Ile tu, because I remember I was talking to someone and was telling me ata misi jua ilikuwa na inachukuliwa aje. Alafu nikande kumarafiki zangu na wakanionyesha. Mimi ilikuwa na jaribu tu. I was only trying. And then I realized my limit was 500. And I took they never intended to, to, to open any business. They just wanted to try. It was a trial and error method. And they're saying, Mimi nili chukua na mimi nili kunywa. I don't know, a bottle of beer goes for a Let me just say, wale kula. And so they don't, they're not in a hurry to pay because in the first place, they never saw the compelling reason why they should take this money anyway. Some of them either are working, so they were just trying. And that is it. That is what is happening. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's the reason why the default rate has really risen, has really shot. But then, don't you think these are the kind of parameters that we should use to measure the growth of our economy? Okay, I'm not an economist, and so if you're an economist outside there, as a layman, if Kenya is on the right track, then I believe people should be able to 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 repay their loans for those who were lucky to be there during kibaki regime there was money you could sense there was money but ie to isirikali akuna pesa and our government continues to politic they continue in blame game yet they still assert that they want to leave this country where kibaki left it a good dream, but it cannot. Kibaki was never full of politics. And I know there was that bit of politics where people like Ambassador Francis Mudaura used to frustrate Raila Molodinga. But that was at their level as they, 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 they wrangled between the, among themselves because of uh, the, 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 that kind of handshake arrangement. But to the Kenyan common man, at least we could see things happening. That is when we saw the super, for the first time people would think the thicker road was, if I'm not wrong, the first super highway when Kibaki went and introduced the Chinese government into our country. And ask anyone, before the Kibaki uh, regime, before Kibaki came to power, there were things that were luxury, a wristwatch, a phone. Uh, like some kind of those silver necklaces. People used to, to, uh, to, to take them by force in town. But when the Chinese government or, or the, Chinese, the, the China got into our, our market, they really, really, we really imported a lot of funds. And today, there are some category of funds that cannot be stolen. At a sa ukienda ukienda tao squeezy, they are being sold at 200 shillings, some good work that can give you value. And so it really helped. But I was saying that if William Ruto wants to leave this country where Kibaki left it, then then they must stop talking. You see, you cannot be talking too much like if you are the, as if you are the opposition. You see, opposition is supposed to be talking because they criticize your moves. They want to get you back on track. As a government, there's no need of talking. You only need to put your think tanks together and work for the Kenyan nation. They can never compare themselves to Kibaki because Kibaki never used to talk. Kibaki never blamed the Moi, Moi era. But we have a government that has never... I was reading, for those who watched my earlier video, and the, the, the nation newspaper was saying that we have a government, William Ruto has never disappointed in disappointing. He never disappoints. He continues to disappoint. Because he continues in blame game. You know what 
Murkomen is saying about the blackouts and the leaking roofs. You know what they say, uh, why did they associate the bad economy with the former regime. So th th this is a government that continues in blame game and I don't think whether this will help at all. So ladies and gentlemen, the hustlers have decided that this is the gift that they are giving William Ruto. It is a birthday gift, it is a Christmas gift, and it is a coded message just before we get to into 2024. 10 billion. I think the hustler fund is an idea that will it, it, it will crumble. It will crumble. I don't think it will really help because when you have such huge deficit, then there's a problem. But the hustler should know that they were requested for was it an ID number or what there's something that a pin or something something that they that they felt was a security issue and so the details are there and remember you're dealing with the government so they might just decide to say we are coming for you or better still it could work the other way around it could be a blessing in disguise by 2026 Ruto will say